and then there are times that I've walked across campus with him and I'm just worn out walking from here to the cafeteria because he's zigzagging to pick up papers, speak to speak to people, plan projects, uh, you know, he's just a bundle of energy, it's the best, he's the best thing that's ever happened to this university. Over, you know, over his tenure here, he's really uh, transformed our university, he's made it um, a place of inclusion um, for everybody, he's helped erase all the negative stereotypes of our past, um, you know, and to help us rise above really, um, you know, exp any expectations that, um, you know, someone could have set. We we've, we've become, you know, a leader in rac racial reconciliation through, like, programs like, um, you know, One Mississippi Re Respect Mississippi and the William Winter Institute. Um, you know, and he was really instrumental in all of that. So I really think that uh, his legacy will probably, um, it, well, it will live on forever. Um, and, you know, just the things he has done really, um, you know, far exceed probably what anyone ever imagined. When this opportunity to become chancellor uh, appeared, then I quickly formed a list of goals in my mind, and then we had a team effort to, to produce the goal, I mean, to finally uh, refine and define the goals. Uh, but I knew some things that I wanted to do, uh, just as an oldest alumnus, somebody who loved the place. It'll be a long time before we find the perfect combination of a gentleman, a scholar, an athlete, a person who has a sense of humor, uh, but most of all, somebody who has such a deep abiding love for this place. I'm Katie Glaze, reporting for Palestra.net. The College Network.